Ben 10 versus Ben 10. I can tell you right now that I already like the new version better, the one made by Claymates slash Spin Master. The Bandai one is small. I got this at the dollar store probably well after it was a thing. It might have just been more of a European thing because I don't think I saw these ever in like Toys R Us or Walmart in Canada. This however has shown up in Toys R Us. Apparently they rebooted it and it is now on a the Cartoon Network, and you can read a little bit about Ben and Grey Matter. Now the last five I have not seen in the stores. The other eight are available. I also got Steam Smith and Grandpa Max in armor, so I thought I could open those two and compare them at another time, if you like. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Otherwise, maybe I'll take Steam Smith back. I don't know if anybody's really interested in these toys yet. Maybe the cartoon isn't out yet? I'm not sure. I opened the door on my face today. It says Ben Omniplasm on this one, and it says that there's a bonus, meaning his surfboard, I guess. And then over here we have Ben Tennyson and Grey Matter. I like the animation, I like everything better. This is a little more anime. Okay, let me just open them up. Let's take a look at the propaganda first. So yeah, I saw most of the stuff in the store. These three guys actually come in three different sizes. So you have a small, medium, and large version of them. That, I guess, is the large version. You can also get a regular watch and a deluxe watch. And then there's a giant play center. And there's also some dress up equipment, which I've also seen. There's five of those that aren't available yet, as far as I know. And look at this kid. <laughs> I'm not laughing at him. I'm not trying to insult him or anything. So first off, Grey Matter, who has no articulation, comes with this stand. So that's useful for him. So otherwise he would be falling down. Actually, no, he can stand up fine without it. That's kind of strange. Maybe it's a surfboard. Maybe he floats around on that device. Yeah, I like him. He looks like he's got one of those watches on his back. Very alien-like. And then we got Ben. His articulation is ball joints at the hips. His waist swivels. Weird ball joints at the shoulders. He swivels at the sleeve, and he also swivels at the watch cut, and his head twists. I like his outfit, for the most part. It's kind of like soccer meets the army. Got some capri pants on, white socks. The sneakers are really nice. I would totally wear those sneakers, and I would totally wear that watch too. And that's his face. He looks very angry. And he's number 10. What I think the premise of this toy, or this character is, is that he can turn into 10 different characters. Which there are more than 10 different characters on the back of these packages. I'm not sure who the bad guys are and who the good guys are. Even though some of the things he turns into look like they're bad characters, I'm assuming he's a good guy. Usually the protagonist of these shows is good. This figure is really quite tiny. I have to say the joints remind me very much of the new one. He has a 10 on his shirt. Again, it looks like it's a soccer jersey. I think his pants are translucent. They're brown like beer bottles. His shoulders are not ball joints. They just swivel, but they swivel out because of his broad shoulders. And he's got elbow articulation, no wrist, hip and knee articulation none of which are ball joints, and his head does swivel. He's got a screw in his back. Oh, and his bum, or his lower back. Bandai makes really good quality toys, so I don't know why I'm surprised, but the paint job and everything is actually really, really, really well made. Look at the details on his sneakers. It's smaller than you would think, but I'm really amazed at the detail for its size face close up. He looks a bit older and he also comes with a skateboard with actual rolling wheels. It's got a circuitry pattern on it. And it's got pegs for his feet so he can definitely ride his board around. It's funny that none of his joints swivel. He's always straight on except you can turn his head I guess. 
Yeah, he's cool. You know, this is two hunky toys. I like a hunky chunky toy. Neither of these are hunky or chunky, which is kind of why I didn't get the Pokemon boy, because he had thin joints and stuff. Some of the Pokemon figures I really like. Did I show you that his knees bent? His knees bend in this new figure. Well, one of them bends. I forced it and it didn't break off. So I definitely didn't show you that if it was stuck. Anyway, I think I like the style. I like that he's younger. He's a bit chunkier in the new playmate style he's bigger so that part i guess i like better i can't really decide not my favorite kind of toy like i said because they're not that chunky and hunky but they're both pretty cool in their own rights and they're still very similar look they even are almost the same height well the older ben seems like he's a little cooler because he comes with a skateboard and the newer Ben comes with a stuffed animal, so he's kind of a baby. He has a baby toy. Let me know which one you like more. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. I'm older than you, so I can beat you up. But I'm bigger than you so I can beat you up. And I'm newer, and my cartoon is newer. Yours is off the air, go! Whew. The new Ben is much more cranky.